What's going on YouTube? It is your boy, Crumbs of the Q, back with another video. Today we're going to be talking about how to stream from Elgato directly to Twitch and using an external website called Streamlabs to have, add overlays uh, to your stream to make it look a little bit more professional. So let's just dive right into it. I'm going to open up Elgato's application here on the Mac. I'm going to talk about it just real quick. Uh, what each component is. So game audio, obviously I have Destiny on the screen right now. Um, this is just going to pull the sound from the game itself. Here is where your live stream uh, will actually show up. So how to connect it to Twitch, you click the plus, you click Twitch, you log into your Twitch account as normal, uh, you'll log in and then it'll connect your account. Whenever it's successful, you'll see this little button here will turn like dark green. That means it's available for you to click and begin streaming at any moment. Then the live commentary, this is where my microphone is plugged in. You can use the different out or different inputs uh, to um, be able to do voiceover work while you're recording. And the button here turns off your mic and turns on your mic. So you can see that there. The bottom we're not going to worry about. That's for recording videos. Um, so let's get right into it. Uh, Let's talk about the next thing that Elgato kind of created for us to be able to stream directly to Twitch, uh, making it look professional. And that is this thing here called Stream Command. Uh, if you're not showing it, go to Game Capture, uh, go to, I think it's Preferences, and there's a little button here that says Enable Stream Command. Make sure that box is checked, and I'll show you. It'll be like this without it, and then it'll pop in once you click it. <clears throat> So I'm clicked at, uh, here on the default um, scene that they give you. So they give you the option of 10 scenes that you're allowed to edit, create new stuff, uh, use defaults that they already have, and be able to add to them. So if I click on any of these here, what it'll do is it'll populate their default. You'll see my little camera shows up here at the bottom for the webcam. And they have a bunch of different... Uh, scenes that you can utilize down here. So today we're going to talk about Streamlabs and how you use them in order to create uh, these overlays yourself uh, and be able to make it look a lot more professional, more interactive for your users to be able to, or your followers to be able to see in real time. So I'm going to show you the one I've actually created that I use on my actual stream when I stream to Twitch. So there's a lot of components in here. Uh, you can see on this little screen, there's a lot of different uh, little things you can see it here. And they all mean something differently. And so how we can go into them is just by editing the scenes here. And whenever you click edit scene, it's going to show you the boxes, the overlays that you have currently on your screen. And I can talk about each one of these in a second. But let's open up uh, the internet here. And we're going to go to streamlabs.com. I'm going to show you how you can add uh, certain things to your stream uh, directly on Elgato's application now. So let that open up. We'll log in to our Twitch account just by clicking the button. I, I believe the first time you log in, you may have to uh, run some sort of setup to be able to link it directly to your Twitch. I don't remember. Or if you can just click it and it'll automatically do that. Um, so I'm not going to go into a whole Streamlabs breakdown. Uh, but I want to talk about two different components on Streamlabs. The first is called Alert Box. And what Alert Box is, is whenever you see uh, the professional streamers or professional players that are streaming, anytime somebody follows them or donates or subscribes, this thing pops up in the middle of the screen that says, you know, so and so username has subscribed, and they leave a little message. Or if they donate, they can leave a little message, and a little GIF might play or something like that. So I'm going to show you how it works. Um, so let me move my Elgato kind of to the side over here so you can see while I uh, kind of use both at the same time. So Alert Box will be able to show you all these, uh, the follows, the subscriptions, the donations, the hosts, and the bits, all those different things that are utilized on Twitch right directly onto your stream. So um, there's a bunch of editing uh, settings and a lot of the stuff is, is uh, self-explanatory like the general settings here. Uh, delays, layout if you want your GIF and your text to be here, just text, or if your GIF to the left, text to the right. You click whatever one you want, save settings every time you create uh, or you edit anything in the settings. So if I go to follows, this is, this is what happens when somebody follows me, obviously, and you can click the GIF you want. Just go download one from uh, makeagif.com. 
is where I use them. There's a free section that you can actually put them in there where you don't have copyright infringements. And you can add a uh, some sort of a sound. Again, make sure you're not copyrighted. All you do is just change media, upload your GIF to your like library here, select which one you want, and then you can uh, it'll populate in here. Change the volume, the duration of the, the GIF, how long it stays on your screen, uh, how long it takes to get to your screen, and you can change all your font settings like which type of font you want to use, size, weight, colors, those types of things. So once you have it all set, what you, what you want to create, you click Save Settings here. It'll register your new settings immediately. Then you can go up here and you can say, okay, I want to test what it looks like with a follow. So I'll click on this and then this is what it'll look like in real time when somebody follows me on my stream during my actual stream. So uh, it works the same for subscription, donation, hosting. It's all pretty much self-explanatory. The same types of settings for each one. So I'll just show you the one, then you can kind of figure out exactly how the rest work. Now, how do you get it onto the Elgato? So what you do is this little uh, section here that says click to show widget URL. So you click on that, you'll highlight the whole thing, Control C or Command C on the Mac. You go into your Elgato again. Now this time you're gonna click Edit Scenes. You would click the plus to add any sort of overlay. So that could be your webcam, images, videos, files, website. So you wanna click website when using this. It'll allow you to post a website in there, add the overlay, and then 640 by 360 will be the, the default. You can move it around wherever you want and then you know just by grabbing the edges, you can you know, put it, the size, change all that in real time. So I'm gonna delete that for now because I already have it up uh, in this big box here. And you saw it as it populated. So obviously it doesn't show any of that during the live stream. You don't have any of that stuff uh, constantly popping up. But the other one I wanna talk about, second point, donation ticker. So anytime somebody were to put, uh, give you money of some sort, if you have a donation uh, set up, what will happen is if they donate, you kind of have the same settings where you can put the person's name, the amount, uh, the do max donation, scroll speed, how fast you want it to scroll across your screen, um, the size, the weight, the colors, all kind of the same settings. And what'll happen is if I go into alert box again, so I'll set up the donation ticker. So whenever it comes back to this page here, you can go back in and you could test donation. So when you test donation, what's gonna happen is it's gonna show up here the GIF, the text of how much they sent you, they'll actually be able to customize their own a comment to be able to put underneath that. And then the rest of the stream inside of that little box that I created here, this, this ticker. So you can make this obviously go all the way across the screen, however you want to do it. Um, I don't do mine, you know, too big, anything like that. And then the rest of the game or the rest of the time you're streaming, I should say, it will populate through there. And if you add multiple donations, they'll all show one by one in order from first to last. So that's just a really quick way to learn how to use the overlays uh, section of Elgato and the new stream command. So then I'm gonna talk about one last thing. Inside of edit scenes, if you notice now, it looks like I'm sitting inside of my game, inside of this chair. But if I go, move this to the back, and I open up this, and I disable what's called now the enable chroma key. So what that is is it pulls lime green out of the setup. So if you see here, if I end editing, now you can see the green screen behind me. But whenever, if you have a green screen, you just click on the little, the little person here, you click enable chroma key, and then you'll have to go in and configure your settings. Like you can click on configure, uh, command nine pulls it to fit to screen, and you can move all of this different stuff here. I already have mine set, so I don't want to change anything. But you can move the tolerance to make it, you know, more of one color or less. Change the hue, soften the edges. I always keep saturation threshold all the way to the end, just because it kind of fills this a little bit better. Um, and then the brightness you can work for uh, making the background obviously pop in or go away. So you can move all these sliders once you get it right. Click done and I always, I use the logo here, so I would move, press this little middle button and then I'll move this webcam to the back. And editing, now I have myself with no background anymore. So that's the new chroma key that they created into Elgato. So it allows you to work this almost like OBS, um, except now on the Mac, you can stream directly to Twitch, which the OBS doesn't work well with the MacBook 
as we slowly found out. Um, and I don't know if it's ever going to be fixed. However, I like what Elgato's done. Um, it helps to stream directly to it. All you have to do now is click the green button and it'll literally begin streaming. Or you can do um, the hotkey that you see on the bottom of the screen there. Either one will start it and stop it. I'm not going to click it, obviously, because my followers will be notified that I am streaming when I'm really not, and that would be disappointing. So that's the way you can do it. Um, if you have any questions, send a comment in the uh, section below. If you enjoyed the video, if it helped any of you out that have the Elgato. Now, again, one last thing. I have the HD. I don't have the HD60, so that's the newer one. I have the oldest, I think, Elgato game capture card that they created and it works fine for mine. I stream at a little bit lower bit rate just because my computer can't handle um, the rendering for frames per second, but if you have a lot better computer, you can push this up to like, I wouldn't say more than 3.5 um, megabits per second because then it causes your followers to have to download data a lot faster, sometimes causing lag in the stream. So just some things to be aware of. Um, I hope this helped you though. If it did, I appreciate it. If you do leave a like, um, uh, again, comment if you have any questions. And until next time, I'm out.